Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you a review of Penny Dreadful Volume 1, um, which is the uh, prequel comic book series uh, recently released. Um, you know, it sort of uh, expands on the uh, flashbacks that we've seen in the first season of the show. And uh, this is something I've been looking forward to for a long time, guys. Um, ever since Penny Dreadful ended, I found out they were going to be doing both this and... Uh, in an actual continuation of the show, um, you know, later this year, I, I was just, uh, stoked, but, you know, like, a bit cautious as well, because, uh, you know, just because they're, you know, delving back into the story, and, uh, Penny Dreadful is just, uh, so perfect, I, there's definitely some things with the ending that I thought, uh, you know, could have been changed, or, you know, I, I just think we should have gotten another season of the show as a whole, <laughs> you know, I think we easily could have gotten a season four out of it, um, because the story wasn't over, um, but, you know, I'm glad that others have recognized that, so they're making that comic book series later this year. Um, but this one is the prequel, and I was still excited, you know, I, I want to see how they continue it, but at the same time, uh, I don't mind them delving into the earlier stuff either a little bit more. Uh, Penny Dreadful, I just want to say before we get further into this book, um, it's one of my favorite shows of all time, easily. It's one of the best shows I've ever seen, no question about it. Um, hence the big uh, Vanessa Ives, you know, Eva Green poster right there, and you know the Blu-rays all along right there, um, as well as a couple figures. Uh, there's really, d despite the the way they chose to end the show, um, it's still nonetheless one of the most well done uh, you know, TV series or movies I've ever seen. Really, um, just from the acting to the what, the way the dialogue is written, uh, the story itself. Just really, really, really fantastic. Um, and it never got nearly enough credit either. But, uh, yeah, you know, like, even even to the point, you know, I, like, I love Game of Thrones, but when Game of Thrones and uh, Penny Dreadful were uh, airing, you know, sort of side by side, uh, I honestly, I, I was preferring Penny Dreadful, and that's, that kind of says a lot, I know, but it's true. Uh, but, yeah. So let's get into this. Like I said, this is a prequel, you know, to the flashbacks, or at least, uh, you know, some conversations we, conversations we got between uh, Vanessa and Sir Malcolm in season one. Um, this is sort of about their search before they hire Ethan Chandler, you know, to, you know, sort of be their, uh, you, know, uh, you know, you know, for night work, right? <laughs> um, and uh, I, I actually really enjoyed this. It didn't disappoint at all. Um, it wasn't underwhelming. Uh, I think it actually worked, and it definitely fits into the uh, Penny Dreadful narrative, in my opinion. Um, the artwork is really nice. I, I like the style of it. Uh, I'll show you some uh, pages. Um, so yeah, there's uh, Mina there. Um, of course, it's about their search for Mina. And like I said, the artwork's really nice. Yeah. Everyone looks like everyone from the TV show. Like you see, you got uh, Sir Malcolm, you know, Timothy Dalton's likeness right there, along with Eva Green, you know, Vanessa, obviously. I uh, say, so yeah, really nice. A lot of it is, you know, sort of like scratchy, and there are certain, like, uh, points in the story that probably are a little bit too dark. Um, you know, I just mean, like, in terms of, like, uh, coloring and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, it's not, like, a big deal. And, of course, you get more of a Sam Benny in this as well, which is nice to see. I know a lot of people were upset at they, uh, what they did with him at the end of Season 2. Um, but I think they knew that. That's why they sort of gave him, they put him into the story, or why they decided to go along with this as well. Because not only do we get, you know, this sort of uh, background with, uh, you know, more of their search for Mina, but we also get a lot more uh, context or uh, more of a, more details about Sir Malcolm and Sam Benny's relationship. Um, and sort of their past together, their history. Um, we sort of see uh, some of their Africa trip anyway, which is really cool. I'm glad they went into that, uh, which I'll you know look at in a second here. I'm just showing you guys as much as I can. You can see more of those uh, you know vampire type things there, which is cool. Here's a cool shot right here, or a picture I should say. Pretty cool. Another one. And someone else we meet in this uh, story as well is uh, Jonathan Harker, who we've only heard a little bit about on the show. You know, he has mentioned a few times, you know, briefly, um, but the guy uh, or the man uh, 
Mina ended up being with. You know, he's a big part of a lot of other Dracula stories. And I, th- I think it was very appropriate that he was, uh, you know, sort of a focus in this one as well. You know, he ends up uh, searching for, for Mina, of course, as well. He joins Sir Malcolm and Vanessa. He has this group of men, which is pretty cool. He's a pretty solid vampire hunter, which is awesome to see. Um, but, you know, it's unfortunate ends up having to him unless you know, he ends up getting bitten. Um, and then, of course, uh, he has to end up being put down. But still, I'm glad they showed what happened to that character, though. Um, we also see Lucy, who in a lot of Dracula stories is supposed to be mean as, you know, best friend. Of course, you know, it's sort of Vanessa on the show, but it's still good that they have the Lucy character involved with this, I think. And she's a pretty good shot herself, but she ends up being infected and sort of walking off, too. Um, so yeah, it's just really, really cool, guys. Um, it's very dark. It definitely feels like it's in the world of Penny Dread- Dreadful, for sure. It feels like it could have easily been, you know, an episode or two of the show. Uh, they probably even could have done the, like, live-action version of this. You know, it just fits so well into the narrative, I think. Here's uh, some of their Africa trip right there. And, again, really nice artwork. And then there's Sir Malcolm laying uh, Peter to rest. But yeah, I highly recommend uh, buying this on it, like Amazon or something, or wherever you can find it if you are a fan of the show. It's definitely uh, something you know us fans uh, probably craved, um, even some crocodile type of stuff in this as well. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> but yeah, so definitely worth it, and I cannot wait for... Uh, you know, like continuation later this year. Definitely going to buy it as soon as I possibly can. I'm very curious to see uh, where the story is actually going to go, you know, or where it's still going to go. But yeah, if you have read it, though, let me know what you thought about it. And uh, later, later today, we'll be doing a video on The 100, updating my top 10 favorite characters. So look forward to that, if you actually watch my videos. <laughs> Um, but other than that, let me know what you guys thought about this one. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, like, subscribe. <laughs> I'm just trying to flip through the rest of it real quick, so I'm saying it kind of slowly. Um, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. And what's also really cool, at the end of this uh, story, we see the initial uh, meeting between uh, Vanessa and Ethan, which is really nice, and we get a mention of, uh, you know, Vanessa's protector who's out there. Um, a pretty cool shot of Sun Bunny right here. But uh, anyway. <laughs> um, so it was good to actually see him at the end. Very touching that they ended it you know, with their initial uh, meeting. You know, Vanessa offering him some night work after watching his you know, shooting um, at that uh, show. So yeah, very cool. Then the back you also get some uh, you know, sort of like details on the show. Uh, you get to look at the individual covers and everything. Um, you get sort of like a lot of detail about the Vanessa Ives character and everything, which is really awesome, really nice to read through. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch you guys next time. Peace. Oh, God, I miss this. <laughs>